I'm going to be taking a tour in Austin, Texas. I actually already took it. That's why I have this. It is the Austin Duck Adventures and it was really fun, really informational. I actually got to drive the boat. <laughs> and they go back right here. So that was a fun experience. For those of you who don't know, I was born in Corpus Christi, Texas. I moved to Austin in first grade and I pretty much grew up here until high school. After 16, I was in Corpus until 21. And now I'm back in Austin, I'm 23. So when I moved here like in first grade, I think when I was in like second grade is when I first took the Austin Duck Adventures tour. So it was really, really like a big reflective memory of mine when I would think about Austin. So I definitely wanted to take the tour again now that I'm an adult and yeah. Look at this tarantula. That's disgusting, but look at this Texas cheese for it. Thank you. This is the double decker fun with the duck adventures, and it gets in the water. So look how much it's raised off the ground. You gotta climb up here. Johnny Depp lived here! Upstairs is where Johnny Depp was living when he was doing a movie called What's Eating Gilbert Grape. If you remember that classic, Ashley introduced a young man by the name of Leo DiCaprio climbing a water tower in the movie. That actually happened about nine miles from here, a little town called uh, Mater, Texas. Population about 2,900. You know what we did? We came down here, we stole their donuts and got them back. In fact, Portland donuts are absolutely amazing. Oh, there's my buddy right there. How are you doing, my man? If you take a look over here on the right-hand side, you'll see the beautiful Bristol Hotel built in 1886 for $400,000. And by the way, if you look at the little old car here, it looked like something from Bonnie and Clyde, you can see we had a hit and run. Somebody bashed the door and took off. But anyway, the 1886 Cafe and Bakery tells you it was actually built in 1886 by Colonel Jesse Driscoll. You know the one in New York is gigantic. This one's 16 feet tall, which means she played UT volleyball at the bars. But because she's 16 feet tall, she makes us 14 feet taller than the U.S. Capitol. So there you have it. Cats out of the bag. All right, we're ready to go in. Well, let's get to the nitty gritty of this. We're going to actually go into this water. Remember, Colorado River, but not the one in Colorado. Uh, now. Let's get ready to do a little bull floating. You have life jackets below you to the side of you. You're not required to wear those. This is absolutely a safe floating boat. I actually saw a couple of <laughs> Okay, Aaron, I want you to turn it to the left as sharp as you can. Good job. Excellent, because we don't want to hit the uh, boardwalk. And then give it a little bit of gas. We're going to attempt to do what uh, I like to eat, and that's called... Oh, you just threw a bin all over the board right there. <laughs> all right, we're going to try to do a donut. So go ahead and make a left right here. And I'm turn this bad boy around. Do You're doing great. You're doing great, buddy. I mean, Aaron. You look like a lint to me, so I'm going to give it all you All right. You're doing great. Fantastic. Everybody okay? And wait a minute. One of the kids fall over the board. We're trying to get no, we didn't have any children. We're good. Man, not bad, Aaron. Not bad. <laughs> you floor it. No. It's a, it's a duck. It's not an eagle. <laughs> did you get this on video? Yeah. Can we have a nice round of applause for Aaron, who did a great job? Aaron, right now, you're in first place. All right? I'm just saying. Aaron, can you, the husbands of the ladies that drove, I need you to put your quackers on. Are you ready? Ready? One, two, three, hit it.
made it to a place called Moonshine. I'm trying to try out these fried green tomatoes. For the appetizer, they gave out popcorn, which I haven't exactly tried, so let me try it. Butter. I was trying to see if this was cayenne pepper on it. I guess it's like the pretty. Mm -hmm. They definitely look way different from the ones that I eat at Catfish Parlor. They have eyes on him? He doesn't really care about personal space. Like, Sorry. Okay. I'll see you, Rambo. Don't worry. Here, let's get a high five. Can you come down for me, buddy? Okay. Thank you, Rambo. Thank you. Can I have a blue Yeah, Tiny loves hair. <laughs> yeah, she's kind of on the outside right now. Tiny. <laughs> Just their backs. Most of these guys are pretty okay with their bellies, but how can you tell the difference? Well, it's on their faces. Um, so, and here, so Gizmo has real fluffy ears. Um, Rambo is the one in charge. She's uh, not quite the biggest, but we will stay used to her. Uh, okay. Now, Bugsy has a really thin face and yellow eyes. And then. That's Zabu. You want to say hi, Zabu? Yeah, they have nails just like us. They're primates. Uh, just like us. Just a little bit, uh, a little bit further back. <laughs> I think your nails are uh, matched to the lemurs. Intentional? Yeah, they look like they're trying to be you? Two high fives. Can you come over here? Yeah. Do you have any, uh, do any uh, shows with them? No. No, just hang out here. Yeah. You know, they're 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 they want to do stuff. <laughs> There's times where we'll go two or three hours and they'll just be sleeping. Just hang out. They sleep for we want period of time. But we uh, make sure that those animals first. We, we want guests to be happy, but we can all with the animals are happy. Okay. So, is that an event? Yeah. Yeah.
Got some jerk chicken, dirty rice, and then cabbage. Also, got this reggae melody Jamaican soda. I really wanted to try this, so yeah. So, I've already ate like half the food, and I can give a review. The jerk chicken came with, like I said, the dirty rice and the cabbage. All of this was $10. I think it was really, really good. They didn't taste like the jerk chicken that I'm like looking for. There's a certain type of jerk chicken that I've tasted and it was amazing. And like ever since then, I've been looking for it. Anyways, the plantains, these were bomb, amazing. It tastes very sweet, but still not too sweet. And this drink, it tastes like a V8, guys. So I got my kayak about here in the middle of the water. And I'm wearing this hat because this little wig that I'm wearing is obviously a little bit vague. Over here she said there's like a skyline view of this city, but we are going the other way. This way and there is nature, looking for the nature views. Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat, don't you the boat. Guys, this is so hard. I should have brought my GoPro out here. Going. I want to find some exciting stuff. The one with the nature. I want to see some birds. I want to see some fish. I want to see some turtles. Don't know what the heck I'm going to see out here, but this is what we're doing. Oh. It seems so long in the bag, like I can literally put my dog on it and then I can put some stories in the bag too. But one day, I'm gonna live in a house like that. Yep. Speak it into existence and manifest your life and speak it into existence so it can happen. I'm trying to get to like this little area. I don't know where I'm going. I was trying to see what was over here. Found the rope sleeve. Just like a bunch of woods, but if you pay attention, there is some cute parts. The stick. Okay, he's a tough guy. Look at you. Oh. You leave it too. Look at this bird over here. He's coming out in the back. It's like, hey, what are you doing with my friends? You're on the wrong side of the turf, guys.
for what? Let's go. 